Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap DGEN. So I just wanted to start off by saying thanks to everyone that uh, subscribed to me in the past few days on YouTube and on my Twitter, that I really appreciate it. And, you know, it's been really nice growth. And hopefully I'll get big enough one day I can afford a new t shirt. Uh, I know that I've got like 35 Ethereum at the moment. You know, I'm doing the 1 to 35 Ethereum, I mean, 1 to 100 Ethereum uh, challenge. I started about two weeks ago with one Ethereum and at the moment I'm on 35, actually 35.6 or so. So it's going very good. I've just been following my spreadsheet basically. And you can see here, the gains have been really, really good. Two base was today. I managed to sell uh, my pre-sale at a very good multiplier. So there were some more nice gains there. So overall, it's going really good. So hopefully it keeps going well. So the token or upcoming pre-sale I want to cover for today is Exceed Me. So this one was suggested to me quite a few times and I looked into it and I actually really, really liked the idea. I think it's very innovative and it's, uh, it's around the, the gaming industry, which I think also has a lot of potential. Basically, just a very brief uh, explanation of the idea is that it's competition to ESEA and Faceit which is uh, gaming platforms where you can like challenge each other and have matchmaking. Uh, if you've played CSGO, then you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's a really big uh, potential industry to, to go into, especially through blockchain, which this would be the first one in that specific industry. So if we start off with a telegram, they've got 3000 members. Uh, I think it's a bit more now of which a thousand were actually, I saw were active and that's always a good sign you know it eliminates the the idea that it could be bots uh so i really like that and the community seems very active so overall quite bullish on their telegram then um we can have a quick look at their website so if we go to the token so here uh this looks like the user interface which looks really sleek and I like it. So there is actually a form you need to fill in to submit uh, your interest on the private sale. So I'll put that in the description of the video. So it's always good just to fill it in. Then obviously you can do your own research later and decide for yourself if you want to if you want to invest. So definitely fill that form in. They actually say they'll get back to you. Uh, sometimes could be the day after. So don't worry if they don't reply to you immediately. 100 million total token circulation, initial market cap, 875k, which I think is quite low considering the idea they have. And later on, we're going to go through the, uh, some more information on Faceit. And you can see their total funding and compared to this, and you'll see why I'm also bullish. Seed and private round uh, total raise, 900k. And initial liquidity, 200k, which is a nice chunk. So I think this is a very low starting market cap. And so far, I'm quite bullish on the tokenomics. Right, so if we look at the distribution and the token price, so seed price, 1.25 cents, private sale price, 2.5 cents, um, which is actually double the seed price. But we'll look at the token release schedule to see how that uh, works out. Public round, three cents and then Uniswap listing five. So if you get into private sale, then you have a two X, you know, guaranteed kind of. And from what I read on their telegram, the, the seed just finished up. So you can't get into that anymore. That was actually done by these uh, strategic investors. So it's quite big, well-known uh, venture capital firms. So that's quite bullish as well. Obviously if these people are investing in them, you know, obviously they had calls with the team. I know the team is public, but it's also a sign of no rug. You know, a project like this, I don't think has, you know, a rug risk. You know, you might say, you know, there's always a chance, but um, from what I can deduct, I don't think so. So, um, yeah, so we were at uh, Uniswap listing is double the private sale price. Seed, private and public rounds with 40% of the total token distribution. Then ecosystem growth reserve. Okay, there's marketing, liquidity fund, and advisors. So yeah, very important. Token release schedule. 
So for seed, there's 20% on TGE and then 10% monthly over eight months. Private sale and pre-public sale. Okay, that's 25% um, on TGE, then 25% monthly over three months. So obviously the main difference is that 25% uh, monthly is a lot more than you when you get 10% monthly. So quicker gains, you know, if that does really good. Not much of a difference from the TGE uh, amount. And considering that seed sale is 1.25 cents and it's listing almost like 4x the price, Seed is nice and comfy, you know, they can get the initial out most likely. Private sale, hopefully they'll be able to, but they got more in the coming months to make up for that. So overall, I'm quite bullish on the tokenomics. Uh, if I can get into the private sale, I'll, I'll invest. But we'll see, you know, if I get a response to my form, hopefully a favorable response. Team of advisors, obviously locked, which is good. 20% uh, on TGE for ecosystem, liquidity 20%, foundation one year locked. It's always good, obviously, when that's uh, locked, reduces uh, the idea of maybe team dumps, so, which is always uh, induces FUD. Then here they say how they're going to use the funds, uh, development, marketing. There's quite a big chunk for marketing, actually, partnerships, and that's uh, good for the longevity of the coin. So, and then just the, the usual things there. Then... I wanted to uh, look at their idea and go through why I like it. So firstly, it's on Polkadot. And you know, lately, everything Polkadot is super hyped. So that's a very nice pull factor they've got going for it. Uh, it's starting off actually on the Ethereum blockchain because I, I read them say that uh, initially uh, Polkadot doesn't have smart contracts. So they have to start with Ethereum and migrate over to Polkadot eventually. So I wanted to go through a few slides that explains the idea a bit more and why I find it so interesting. Um, so it's a blockchain powered tournament platform like uh, ESCA and Faceit. And the most interesting thing is they have play to earn. So you can play your favorite games, obviously challenge opponents and or exceed me itself can find people that match your skill level and then you can bet on your own victory. So you're betting their tokens, which you can earn through other means as well. Bet it on you winning and, and then play against the people and hopefully win. So, you know, it already adds to the competitiveness and the competitive nature of these games. And for example, myself, I'm very competitive. And if I had this incentive as well, I mean, I would, I would play a lot more and use this platform for sure over the others. And then you can win exclusive NFTs for winning tournaments and league events. I think that's also super bullish because, you know, NFTs are also hyped at the moment and projects that have NFTs tend to moon. So that's really interesting as well. I like that. They've got matchmaking like we went through, anti-cheat, obviously without that it would fail. And it's agnostic platform. So play many different games, CSGO, even League of Legends, which is really cool. Also decentralized games. Actually, I haven't heard of these two. I assume that's Formula One, but uh, that's really awesome. And I, I really like this idea so far. Put your crypto where your mouth is. <laughs> it reminds me of Spank Chain. Anyways, if we go one in four people in the world is a game. That's actually more than I thought. I assume this includes a uh, Candy Crush. <laughs> Oh, that's really insane. 2.7 billion gamers. Damn. So I think that was all the slides I, I wanted to go through that I really... Oh, here's another one that I wanted to go through. Like I said, it's comparison to face it in ESEA. And you can see how Exceed Me exceeds them in almost every aspect, which is pro. So earn rewards, which they don't have. Crypto, they don't have crypto. And they've got governance. Also, governance is, you know, really hyped in crypto at the moment. And one more thing I wanted to go through, actually, when it comes to Faceit, I did a comparison. So Faceit has 15, over 15 million registered users, which is really an insane amount. And if uh, Exceed Me gets anywhere near that, then that's really super bullish. Then 
their revenue for 2018 for face it was 16 million which is also huge and if exceed me comes anywhere close to that foolish and furthermore their total funding for face it was 29 million dollars which is much more than the 900 odd that exceed me is getting 900k and like i said before if it gets anywhere close to face it level which i think the idea has potential to then that's going to be really nice gains another reason why i think it has potential to do so well is i looked at the team obviously it's a public team or it's bullish hardly any rug risk linkedin is linked so these guys look like they've got some serious experience super bullish and the pro thing is fox look it's fox if you play csgo you know exactly who that is it's very very popular uh, professional of csgo and i think having him as an ambassador and on board is crucial to bridging the connection between being just another project and actually linking it to the scene of professional esport so i really like the fact that he's there and i think this will help build the project and actually get attraction so yeah i've pretty much covered everything i really like about it so overall i'm actually really bullish I, I love this idea i think it feels like i'm investing in an actual startup with this not just a, another uniswap shit coin and that's what i also really like about it. it feels like i'm actually investing in something i kind of believe in so time to give exceed me a rating so i can't just give it a normal pro because it's getting boring i've got so many pros um so i think I will rate it. Chost Pro. Chost. So this is similar to Bekas Pro, which is like a very nice uh, fork of Pro. And this is like the gaming fork kind of. So I really like that. Exceed me is bullish in my opinion. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can get in. Uh, remember for that form, I'm going to post in the description to get your interest and hopefully you'll get uh, the allocation. So yeah, that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. And as usual, feel free to subscribe and like and follow me on Twitter. I post there quite often. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.